so it's it's I, I don't think it's five stories, maybe four stories. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Yeah, so there's three there stories in the basement. basement. Yeah. So oh. I went down to the basement one summer, and it's like <sighs> I totally believe in ghosts. I believe in the supernatural. <laughs> I've seen things that were creepy. Uh, but it's always like I think people that enjoy ghosts want to see them, and it's when you're not looking for them that I think they show up. Mm-hmm. But the antique mall feels like stuffed with with ghosts and yeah. weird. Like I go sometimes, and in the summertime, especially when it's really hot and they don't have air conditioning. God love them; they have fans and stuff. But it always <laughs> feels like by the time you get to the third floor, like you're disassociating and you're you're. you're personality is crumbling. It just seems like a good place for ghosts. So a couple summers ago, like maybe four or five years ago, I was in the basement and I didn't hear anybody and it felt very, like very close. It was chilly, but like everything felt kind of muffled. And I started hearing a woman crying. And it wasn't like in a movie or a, like a ghost story where it's, Ooh, spectral sobbing. It sounded like some woman who was upset and she was crying and she didn't want anybody to hear her. And I had this moment of like, oh, what do I do? Like, <laughs> do I go around the corner and surprise her? Should I? So I think I started making some noises to let her know that I was there. And I went around the corner and there was nobody there. <laughs> there was no, and I looked, there was nobody hiding. There was nowhere to go. And I was oh my like, God. 